Band camp was the hardest two weeks of <laughs> the year. It's, it's all about just get up, go to work, go work some more. Ten minute break, go work some more. <laughs> all right, now you get an hour for lunch. Oh, we're coming back to work. That, now, it's, now it's 10 p.m. Okay, go back to sleep. We're going to wake up at 3 a.m. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, I like to piggyback off that, like Mr. Graham was saying. Uh, another thing, it, it's like <laughs> in a meeting he did say, informal, he said that the third day, you're going to call your parents and tell them how sore, and you're you going to say that you couldn't make it through. Mm -hmm. And I called my parents. Yes, sir. Welcome back to Let Me Hear You War Podcast, man. Season two. And today we got us a couple of young folks, some fresh faces on the podcast, y'all. Got some of the freshmen here from the freshmen in the band, man. So I guess we go from uh we go right to left, ladies first. Uh introduce yourself to everybody. My name is Freddie Mae Thompson and I'm a trumpet player. My name is Brianna Jackson. I'm a silk and I play clarinet. My name is Everett Tobler from Little Rock, Arkansas. I play the trombone. My name, last but not least, is Taylor Waters. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I play the trumpet. Go Nation. <laughs> <laughs> you said we got a couple of lively folks today, man. You know, it's going it's gonna to be a good one. Uh, so I guess, uh, I guess Taylor, you got the most energy right now. What, uh, what made you come to the APB? Well, so how it all started was like, I knew I wanted to go to like a HBCU and want to be in a band. Mm -hmm. So I auditioned for other colleges and everything, mm -hmm. and UAPB sent me the best offer. So I was like, I can't pass up on UAPB, and it's close right. to home. Right, right. You guys, you guys yeah. go to the crib. What are you going to sure. do somewhere else? Yeah. Can I pay that, uh, that extra fee money outside the state? Mm-hmm. I'm about to time for that. And that refund be fat, too. <laughs> they can't pass it up, dog. They can't pass it up. What about you, Everett? What made you come to APB? Yeah, it was about the money. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I got into everywhere I applied to. Uh, the, the grades wasn't a problem, but UAPB said that I could come and go for free, and they're going to pay me on top of that. Can't get rid of that. Hey, it's, it's seems like a little pattern right here. You want, you want the money, come to APB. Yes, sir. Was, was it 2026? You know, if you, if you apply right now, if you get $2,000 right now, you apply right now. So that's, that's just put that in your ear. Miss uh Miss Jackson, what made you come to UAPB? Um, UAPB gave me the most money. <laughs> <laughs> I did give them to all my schools that I applied to, but I also wanted to stay close to home because I have young siblings. So, where are you from? Whitehall. So Whitehall. Ten minutes, fifteen minutes away. Mm. Okay, okay. And Miss Miss Thompson. So to be honest, the reason why I chose the University of Arkansas at Palm Bluff was because of God. I prayed for a long time about where I should go to college. I applied to multiple schools, got in, got scholarships. But at the end of the day, home is where the heart is. I'm a true golden lion. It's down in my legacy. I bleed yellow and black, and I'm just glad to be here. And that nice academic and <laughs> band scholarship, you know, that helped out too, so. So Freddie May, you, you're the um, technically the only one here from Pine Bluff. So what can you tell me? How does it feel um, being from the city, also going to school? Like, is it, um, is it, is it like a major difference? I, I know for me, when I, I, was, I was from Palm Bluff, um, a lot of a lot of my classmates they wanted to go elsewhere, you know, uh, uh, either in the state or outside of state because you know, they got they got tired of being in Palm Bluff. So like you know, but I feel like me personally, it was kind of different because I was always around people that weren't around from Palm Bluff. So I didn't really feel like I was. Of course, I was in Palm Bluff, but. I didn't feel like I was always Palm Bluff, you know, I didn't feel like all the time. So how did, how did it feel for you? So initially, I was one of those people that kind of aspired to go off and to mm -hmm. travel and go to another city or maybe even another state. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I felt like I needed to be at home for this season of my life. And so I'm one of those people that want to make an impact and a change in the world. Mm -hmm. So I felt like I would be doing my own hometown a disservice for me to take my talents and my academic abilities elsewhere before I help home. So that's what really inspired me to stay. Okay, I feel, I feel that. Um, so what's some, what's some first impressions? So we, um, so let's, 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 let's go to band camp. Uh, 
we meet the directors. What's what's the first impression of the directors y'all got? <laughs> well, I, I'll go first. First impressions. I'm gonna I'm gonna start off when we had the band camp meeting right here. Yeah. When we had the band camp meeting, I had got out the car, walked to the band room, which is is that now, which is at the Caldwell Hall, and I went up to them double doors. I was like, the band is gonna be swole. And I was like, I was wondering who was all those people. I was like, those are just the crap. Those are the crap class right there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, wow. So the band is only gonna be get bigger from there. Heavy hitters. Yeah, really, <laughs> really. I was like, oh, so it's a lot of ampers up in here and everything. I was fired up and thrilled and everything. The band directors, funny. Man, Mr. Evans, the funny. He a comedian. You guys gonna know <laughs> as soon as y'all join the band. So you know. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Hey, uh, anybody else got something you wanna share? First impressions, first day. On campus. What? No? Um, I can take a shot at it. Uh, when I first came to the yard and I saw the band, I was a little scared. I was like, I got to get my weight up. I got to do better because these guys are awesome. And when I heard Golden Time of Day, it was a wrap for me. I knew I had to get it together. I knew I wanted to be just as good as the upperclassmen. And I was just ready. I was scared, but I was ready. Mm-hmm. How was how was band camp overall? How y'all feel band camp was? Band camp was the hardest two weeks of <laughs> the year. It's, it's all about just get up, go to work, go work some more. Ten minute break, go work some more. <laughs> all right, now you get an hour for lunch. Oh, we're coming back to work. That now it's now it's ten p.m. Okay, go back to sleep. We're gonna wake up at three a.m. Do it again. <laughs> and it was, I like to piggyback off that, like Mr. Graham was saying. Uh, another thing, it, it's like in the meeting he did say informal. He said that the third day you're gonna call your parents and tell them how sore, and you're gonna, you're gonna say that you couldn't make it through. Mm-hmm. And I called my parents. <laughs> I called them on the third day. Man, I'm trying to tell you when you get up in there. Boy, them arm, arm circles going, ooh, them shoulders going to be, woo, they going to be hurting, man. <laughs> he had you on the arm circles and all of that. Jumping jacks, the whole nine. The physical, the physical part, ain't nothing to play with. So it's going to be awakening. Yeah, that was about the first time I, like, I was not having fun playing my horn. I ain't going to lie. Boy, just just doing it nonstop with, with all that work. But then it, it got better throughout the season. It did. He yeah, always used to be to, like it's, it's easy shape and it's always ready to play. Mm-hmm. Work the core, work the core. <laughs> <laughs> and then that one song he played every time in the morning. Early in the morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, Miss Jackson, what about you? Uh so did you were you already uh uh, um, like doing flag twirling before you guys? Um, yes, but I was like more in a core style band, mm-hmm. and so I went to like I knew I wanted to go to HBC because I wanted the show style band experience and how to do that, and also I wanted a new perspective on like to do stuff in the stand because when I was at Whitehall, we just sat there the whole game and mm-hmm. then halftime we'll perform, and that was getting pretty boring. So like <laughs> doing learning stands and stuff that was a challenge and all, but they did help me. Okay, okay. So let's fast forward a little bit. So we got the first game. How, how was the first game for y'all? Against Lane, oh right? Yeah, Lane College. I didn't eat game. all day. <laughs> really? What? I was dehydrated. Every, I didn't have time to eat. <laughs> Why you had time to eat? I don't know. It was like I thought I had it planned, but like I didn't have it planned. Did I didn't you pass know. Out? No. <laughs> I mean, I drank water. Y'all gave us water and stuff. Yeah. But like. I just knew I was dehydrated and I didn't eat all day and yeah, that, I just knew what to expect the second game. Yeah, that, that game day heat is just it's a different heat for sure. Yeah. It's a different heat. Um I mean, so what's about the first game? You know, first time the uniform we've been, on for real. For been, I like to say something about that first game. Like, <laughs> hey, but that first game ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? See, we, we we was you know, we wanted to come out of band camp. We wanted to use what we learned out of band camp and adopt it to the first game. So we was having fun, blowing and whatnot. And then Lane actually came right after our halftime show. We blew on Lane so bad that they ran out the stadium. In fact, yeah, they ran out the stadium. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just cranked up they on them. Oh, they was running. They were scared for their life. And we thought they wasn't gonna come. They gonna come back to our halftime show. No, we they, we they still came, have songs for you. No, they came straight for their halftime show. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then left like little girls. 
<laughs> what a competition. When they sitting in the bus though? Uh, sitting in the bus high now. <laughs> it, was like, it was the first quarter when we were like, oh, they ain't, they ain't coming. To, and then somebody looked on their phone and said, they say, they coming for halftime. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? Fine. Yeah, so you know, first game against Lane College, uh, you know, they 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 they, 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 they was a little tardy to the party. You know, wish they could have gave, you know, it's a whole you know, whole little little shindig. But you know, it is you gotta do you gotta play who's whoever in front of you. And uh, so what's uh, so moving on to after that, what's one of y'all's favorite um favorite moments from this past season? Ooh. I like to piggyback off that one right there. <laughs> <laughs> favorite moment. Man. The director himself, Mr. Ron Harris, when he had sent this message out for brass rehearsal, me not knowing what it was going to be, I was like, it was just going to be a normal section. Mm -hmm. So I get there on the way walking. They started early, in fact. They were, you could hear them cranking up on Caldwell <laughs> to the Lion's Den. That's what I call it. The Lion's Den is the hero complex, my dormitory that I stay in now. <laughs> uh, they were cranking so loud. And I, I ran down there with my trumpet. I was like, I want to see what's going on. Y'all want to be a part of this, too. We were blowing. <laughs> And y'all wonder where them clips came from on Instagram, one band, one sound, and all them other band pages. That was Brad's rehearsal. That's what we do at, you know, at UAPB. We make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. Anybody else got a moment they want to share? Uh, I really like that road trip to Alabama. I love, mm -hmm. I love traveling. <laughs> I love traveling. Mm -hmm. And it, especially when you're traveling with a bunch of friends, just make a bunch of stuff happen. Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was definitely a good, uh, good road trip. That was my first time seeing Alabama State for me personally because uh, just the way the schedules kind of line up. You know, I never got to see Alabama State during my uh, undergrad tenure, so um, it was good to just knock that off the list for me personally. Uh, yeah. Any, any Anybody else? Anything else? Um, I liked it, the Arkansas versus, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, Arkansas versus UAPB. I love the unity, seeing all the t-shirts and the crowd reaction and stuff like that. Yeah, that was That was real fun, really cool. especially during <laughs> halftime. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's the most fun I've ever had during yeah. the halftime mm. show. Them white people were going crazy. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that one video that's viral on Twitter of the white man going like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop playing with him. Yeah, that was definitely one of the loudest uh, crowd reactions we, we've had since I've been around the band uh just 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 when the jump agents walking up like they haven't done anything yet you mm -hmm. know just a bunch of bunch of noise trying to come from the crowd you know that's definitely a different level of energy that i've experienced um uh so what's so what's the favorite song we got from this year new birth new birth okay. um kiss me more for me kiss, kiss me, me more and uh poppy song okay okay yeah kiss some poppy song get you some motley crew I'm gonna have to go with the backseat of the road struck by Big 30. And I like the song so much. It's so catchy. If you didn't know, but now you know, I'm gonna let you know. See, I made me a Bandcamp freestyle song that's oh on my, my Instagram God. using <laughs> that same song, the in official instrumental. It's something about that. Dun, 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 dun. It's hard. Well, tell them the Instagram. Check. PR1 NCE <laughs> underscore Tayo. It's gonna be in the link in the bio. We gonna see it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, underrated right. song, March Grandioso. Okay. That mug smack. <laughs> you by yourself. <laughs> you all by yourself. I like that. There you see, you got it. Max day one. <laughs> Max day one. Um, as you see, we got you know these are our freshmen. You know, I definitely uh, appreciate the the energy and just the liveness they bring. They brought to the band this year. Um, Def, it's, it's definitely a different level, a different level for sure. And um, you know, as we as we in the, I guess still the first half of our spring semester, you know, we get prepared to uh, wrap up things for the fall pretty soon. Um, that's that's really got us got as much for this first half. We're gonna uh, do a quick little break for our game segment, and um, so y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. Together to beat cancer for good. For the first time ever, 
the marching musical machines of its sound, and the best inside the sound. Join to honor all those impacted by the breast cancer with the chart concert and the theater. Welcome back, y'all. <clears throat> We're gonna have a quick little game segment for y'all. We're gonna have a uh, we're not doing the guest guest that song this season. We're gonna switch it up a little bit, so we got a little guess who throw a little throwback game for the old folks. You know, a little guess who. So uh, we the little setup slightly different. You know, for some more more of a view, viewing pleasure, and um, I've explained the rules to the guests. Um, I already gave them their bands. It's gonna be best two out of three. Uh, yes or no questions, and uh, you know, if anything gets too out, of, gets too hectic, you know, I'm just gonna let y'all know, keep y'all back on task. But um, both teams ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right then. Uh, who wants to go first? Ladies first. All right. So y'all, what's y'all first question? Is your team's or is your school's mascot a tiger? No. So y'all can knock down. Is your school on swag? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Knock down all the ones that aren't in swag. Yeah, so y'all, so whatever, so y'all ask whichever ones, they, uh, you said, well, not a tiger? Mm -hmm. Yes, whichever ones, who's, uh, not a tiger, I guess? Knock yeah. those down. I don't think any of these are. Yeah, so if it's, if it's not, knock it down. You just you know, flip it down. Yeah, flip it out. And we going based off just the picture. If if it's not if it's not a mascot in a picture, you know, we're not gonna do that much research. Alright, ask another question, Sean. Did the football team play your school this year? No. Are oh, you asking questions? That's a good question. Hmm. Is the school colors black and gold? No. Is your school colors blue, or are your school colors blue? Blue and white? No, no. Let's see. Mm, did we play your school in this year? Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. So we didn't see them. Mm -mm. Did we play your school this year? 
You already said no. Daddy asked. He got a question. We did play them. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad. We didn't see them. Mm-mm. Is your school out of state? It's out of these options right here. Is our school out of state? Yes. Yes. Um. <laughs> is, is your school in Alabama? Yes. All right, so hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so they got two left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From the looks of it, they they got. So they can either. So for y'all's turn, either y'all gotta ask like a very good question, or y'all could just go for the gusto and guess what their band is. Because they only have two bands left. They can either they can either guess what the band is, and if y'all get it wrong, they win. All right. So, mm-hmm. all right. So what y'all want to do? Y'all can ask another. Y'all, I mean, y'all can ask another question. Oh, can I? Wait. Let me ask this question. What's up? Is this school? No, 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 no. Ooh, it's their turn. It's their turn. It's their turn. It's their turn. Right. Right. Yeah. So y'all, so y'all gonna have to ask a good question for sure. You got a question? No. Is your school located in Florida? No. no. Did we travel to your school this year? Yes. All right. Okay. Can we show? Mm. All right. It's their turn. It's your turn. <laughs> yeah, I might as well try to get their school. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. No, no, no. That's actually not it. Is that it? They gotta be. No, it's not. It's actually y'all wrong. Y'all did not have to be wrong. <laughs> you said we traveled to the school and we played them, right? We only went to two schools. You said we only traveled to one school. We both said yeah. We rolled charter oh. buses to one school. Oh, we we answered that wrong. We lied to y'all. <laughs> We lied. Hey, man, we no, we lied. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't do that. Right. We were supposed to. All right, oh, all right, all right, all right. So, so, y'all that had, was on schedule. Y'all had, y'all that had. That was on schedule. We just didn't go to. Y'all, <laughs> y'all had, yo, yo. So y'all had. They, they still was wrong. Though. Y'all had, <laughs> yeah, that's y'all had, y'all had Alabama A&M. Yeah. And they had, yeah. they, had yeah. they had Morehouse. Okay. All right, so. Well, they since they we tried to get Alabama. Us, <laughs> no, y'all didn't. Y'all, so they tried to guess the schools y'all had. They got it wrong, so y'all did win that round. All right. Wait, wait. So King they? Ball, you know, said so they won. won no, y'all won. Okay, y'all won. okay, so okay. Y'all won. Okay. Y'all won. Cause they tried to guess y'all schools and they got it wrong. So y'all still eventually won. Ain't that some stuff? So, all right. So y'all <laughs> go ahead. We did not try to cheat. Go ahead, reset. It was. It was. All right. So, uh, team. <laughs> King, that's what y'all name yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Team Little Rock. <laughs> All right, so y'all going to y'all one last round. Y'all can go this round. Y'all go first, so. Right, y'all I first think our question. first question worked out pretty well. Should we ask it again? Yeah. Is your team in the swag? Where's your school? Yes. Yes. All right. That's a lot of stuff. That's my thing. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and ask a question if you. What you. is your team's school colors? Yes or yeah. yes, no question. You can't answer that. Uh-huh. Yes or no. No. Yeah. That is a yes she or no question. <laughs> <laughs> you said what are oh, your team's colors? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my fault. My fault. Oh, my fault. She's sorry, cheating sorry. again. I'm sorry. I'm not cheating. <laughs> is your school in the swag? Yeah, that's a good. One. Yes. No. Mm-hmm. It's, not. it's not. It's not. Mm. It's not. It's not. You need a reminder of your school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> Alright. Mm. Let's see. 
did we play your school this year in football? Yeah. Yes. Mm -mm, we didn't play them. We didn't play them. I know. Yeah, we got, yeah, I really got to think about the questions y'all asked me. Wait, we, we didn't play did, them. Did we? No, we didn't play I them. I think about the questions. Though. We didn't play them. Though. That's a pretty bad right, question. We, we didn't. We didn't. I know that we played Prairie View, but we didn't play this one. But I think, okay, we can I think the up. football team. We leave it up then. Right. I know. I know we didn't play them though. We didn't play them. Did we? Yeah, we did. That was the last game. The gospel show. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> 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 right. All right. Did we play y'all school this season? No. 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 Okay. You just wanted to ask a question. Well, I'm going to ask this one because this is going to be a simple one to ask. Okay. Is your school colors black and gold? Because that's usually what HBCU's colors are. No. It's not black and gold. <laughs> a lot of HBCU's are black and gold. Okay. A lot. I can uh, name how, like how five many, or six. How many, how many of these are black and gold? Out of the, out of the no, 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 no. Don't worry about that. Black and gold right there. Black and gold right there. Black and gold before you lay it down. I, I, why are we arguing? We're going to say it to you. <laughs> All right. It's <laughs> 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 just quick colors green. No. Okay. I'm a couple of All right. Um... Is there school in Louisiana? No. Do y'all school colors have gold in it? No. Is your school located in Alabama? No, sir. <laughs> okay. Mm, I set them down. Um, mm. Do your school has the colors purple and gold? No. Okay. Mm. So y'all both got was three left. So wait, I just thought about something. This school not even in the swag. We can knock this one down. They are in the swag. They are in the swag now. They, it wasn't now. Okay. <laughs> Is this school in Texas? <laughs> well. Y'all can guess what, what what school they got. Or, you know, they gonna go for the little sweep ski. Is it really? Come on, ladies. Mm. Three Maybe games. ask them. It's not that they don't have gold in their school. Yeah. We only got one left, so I guess it's... It's X. Is your school Tennessee State? No. It's your school, uh, Texas Southern University. Yes, sir. Mm. Can you go line by line? <laughs> Where the competition at? <laughs> <laughs> so they had, they had Texas Southern, and they had Morehouse again. So, it doesn't work like that. On the little generator. On um, random. Right. Um, yeah, so uh, the King team won 2-0. Um, you know, it was a pretty exciting game. Um, so we're going we gonna to switch the setup right back quick, whatever. We're going to see y'all back for the last little segment. Uh, be right back with y'all. Y'all cheating suck. Yes, sir, y'all. Thanks for uh, staying tuned right quick for a little, 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 had to move around some furniture right quick or whatever. So, um, last little, little wrap-up questions for the uh, for the freshmen we have today. Um, what's something that you guys are going to bring uh, next season? You know, you're going you you to have this first year in. Now you kind of got the experience, you know, a couple of swag girls, whatever. What's something you're going to bring in that first day at Band Cup, being sophomores in the band? 
Mr. Waters, let's be ready. <laughs> hey, I'm ready. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna bring it to the table. Info. I'm bringing Shay Watts, pressure, <laughs> the Army, the Navy, all in one package. Not playing around. My goal is also to recruit and get some more junior ampers to join a part of the info. So that's what I'm bringing. Some, some junior ampers? Yeah, some junior ampers. So I've never heard that one before. Yeah, yeah, so you're a senior emperor? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not drinking. <laughs> if you heard me, you know I'm not drinking. You feel me? Well, anybody else got something y'all bring to the next? Go ahead, yeah. Um, something that I'm planning on bringing next year or in the fall to enforce basically myself. I'm bringing more experience. I'm bringing more knowledge. And with that knowledge, I hope to be more of a leader within myself so that I can help other freshmen. But now that I have the experience, I can help bring up some of the new crabs that's coming in and help them out and just help the band get better. So that's what I'm bringing. Cool, cool, cool. Anybody else got something? Uh, I can refer back off what she said. I'm bringing experience because mm -hmm. I did not have it at first. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so um, I don't know if y'all been seeing some of the uh, news about something about the schedules next next fall. So uh, we supposed to be playing uh, Jackson State. Jackson State, possibly in Birmingham. Um, might be playing FAMU's homecoming next year, Grandma's homecoming. Is there any, any particular band or school that y'all would like be looking forward to playing against next next year? FAMU. FAMU, okay. If we get to go to Florida. Yeah. If we get to go to Florida, that's, that's tight. Yeah. But whichever one has the, the most, the biggest crowd, mm -hmm. it's gonna be the most fun. Yeah, for sure. Always is. Well, for me, it's, it's, it's a little different here. I ain't really worried about how far the trip is. I'm going for the sound and the nice battle. I remember back in spring 21 when UAPB battled a and and it was a really good battle on YouTube. But I want to, you know, experience that in person. So I got something for a and to stow. I got some pressure, you feel me? So when we run into a and it's, it's straight watts. You know what I'm saying? We, it's coming that way. So go ahead and be expecting. Yeah, I'm crab now. I'm not going to be crab later. So, you know, I'm just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, also, I think I'm looking forward to playing Jackson State in Florida as well because I feel like because they're a larger band, I feel like they're placed on more of a pedestal and a platform, and I think that UAPB needs a little bit more love. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what I could do personally to be a better trumpet player so that we can, you know, have some good battles with them in the fall. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so what's some um, aspirations you guys have outside of band? Um, you know, hopefully you, you didn't just come here to be a part of the band. You know, I'm sure you all have your majors, you know, any type of accolades you want to achieve in here at college. So what's some aspirations you guys have? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to be an NBA analyst. I, uh, I'm trying to go into sports broadcasting with my major in broadcast journalism. I know everything there is to know about the NBA. Well, not everything because, you know, I don't actually play. But... I study it every day, and I'm trying to work to get there. Who's your favorite NBA player? My favorite NBA player is Clay Thompson. That's my guy. Okay. Is the Warriors' favorite team too? Uh, it's up there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I also like the Sixers. But I don't discriminate around here. You know, you, you've seen me in a Cavs T-shirt. You've seen me rocking the Jazz. We don't discriminate around here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Since we're talking about NBA, I'm just going here. So how you feel about this this uh this James Harden trade? Oh, and this was big time. It it's really good for both sides because you see, Ben Simmons hasn't been playing. Mm -hmm. uh, so they really got James Harden, yeah, who's an, an All Star this year, even though he's having a down season. Mm -hmm. You know, he's only averaging 22 when he has averaged 36 before. Right. But. They traded away the stats on Andre, <laughs> Andre Drummond, Seth Curry, and two first-round picks for an all-star mm -hmm. because Ben Simmons wasn't really playing for them. So that, mm -hmm. that's a positive. But then on the net side, James Harden was out of it. Last mm -hmm. game he played, uh, four points, bunch of turnovers, was out of it. He was not trying to be there. Yeah. And he probably wasn't going to re-sign this offseason. So they got Ben Simmons, who has longer contract, and he's a young up and coming player. People trash on him just because he can't shoot, but he can do everything else out on the basketball floor. And they got him and a shooter in Seth Curry and Andre Drummond, been an all star before, and some first round picks. It's good for both sides. I'll say right in person, 
I think you have a good future in the NBA podcast. You sound like you know what you're talking about. You just dropped the stats. Hey, I, I'll, listen, I'll listen to your podcast. I'll listen, honestly. Um, you can try. <laughs> any other aspirations outside of college? Outside of band, I'm sorry. Right here. Aspirations outside of band. So I'm looking at, you know, U.S. Marshall. But if it wasn't for my great teacher, Mr. Warren L. Booker Jr., back in my high school days, I took a criminal justice head start class to help me prepare for the college courses here. And so I'm also taking like some FBI prep, like Head Start as well. So it's in a similar, it's similarities with the law enforcement and everything. So that's what I'm looking forward to is law enforcement. So it's really helping me out. So I'm not going in there blank minded. I already have somewhat experience of what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. Ladies. Appreciate that, Mr. Book. Um, uh, I have aspirations from, um, my mom's friends, who's in the medical field, is trying to help me get internships and stuff, and sending me them like daily to apply for it, and telling me to do this, and they'll get my recommendation letters and stuff like that. Like, don't give up, and if I don't, like get that internship, just keep applying because someone will is out there that is willing to help me start my career. For sure, for sure. Ms. Thompson. Um, as for me and my career aspirations, I hope to be a nephrologist, which is a kidney surgeon. Um, I desi- desire to be that because I've seen a lot of obesity, diabetes, heart failure, and kidney failure within my family, plus my compassion for seeing the sick get well and just helping people also with their mental capacity. So that's really my passion. And my number one goal is to open a hospital line named Thompson Care because my last name is Thompson. And so my slogan will be, there's no care like Thompson Care. And I'm just really glad to be at an HBCU to further my education because you can be, go to an HBCU and become a doctor. Just like Bree here, she has medical aspirations too. We're black women, we're at, a, we're at an HBCU and we can do it. We are smart enough, we got the tools and I'm excited for my future. And something else that I'm kind of interested in is maybe dipping into political science a little bit because we do need better world <coughs> leaders in our government. So yeah. a lot of aspirations and I'm also a practicing minister. So it's a lot that I'm into. I'm just, I'm just, I'm a proud uh, band director up here, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> just seeing uh, all these young, young folks, even though I'm only 28, but uh, you know, just younger <laughs> people, you know, there's so many aspirations, you know, it's such good, uh, so many, uh, positive fields they want to go into and um any questions for me no? shout out marcus johnson marcus shout out johnson. carlton mcgee marcus. oh can i do a shout out too sure yeah quick uh, shout out shout, quick shout out to my mom shout out to jesus and also shout out to one of my favorite cbs bryce smith because i was so <laughs> slow and he did not talk about me he helped me learn the alma mater he helped me march so shout out to you any more shout outs any more i would like to say shout out to director of bands, Mr. John Graham, for giving me the opportunity for to real? be in the band. If it wasn't for him signing that paper, I wouldn't be here today. So I just want to go ahead and say that. And I like <laughs> the, 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 the comedian, no, I mean, excuse me, the comedian himself, Dr. Daryl Evans. <laughs> whatever the case may oh, be. Oh, whatever the case may be. Just get it done, you know? Just, <laughs> let's not crack be around. Fine. And his, one of his quotes he always used to say, is don't count the years, make the years count. And he used to have a lot of other quotes too, but I don't know off the top of my head right now. But that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I'm glad you. I'm, I hope I keep that same energy for this last part. So you know we gotta do this. Uh, Let me hear you roar part now. Mm-hmm. I'm sure y'all seen the episodes. Y'all seen some of season one. Yeah. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. How, y'all, how y'all wanna do it? One by I'll one or all together? Let's all go all together. So you gonna you gonna what you gonna do? Let me hear you. Let mm-hmm. everybody do the roar. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Let me hear you roar. Oh, that's, that's, that's kind of kind of melodic. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. That's this episode. Uh, thanks for the uh, for freshman coming in and doing this for me. Um, and um, that's a wrap, y'all. We'll be with, back with y'all for another episode.
Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the podcast. For additional behind the scenes and bonus content, follow us on Instagram at M4Pod. And if you want to keep up with the band on upcoming news and performances, please follow all of the band's social media pages. We out of here.